Hello everyone. Continuing with our series on acute inflammation, and we have already discussed what is acute inflammation, what are the vascular events associated with acute inflammation, then the cellular event. We have seen this diagram, how the leukocyte migrate through across the endothelium. Now we'll discuss. the phagocytosis and the clearance of the offending agent now there are three important steps in the phagocytosis the first step is the recognition and the attachment the particle which is to be ingested by the leukocyte like the bacteria or the dead cell now this needs to be recognized by the leukocyte and these are recognized by the receptors which are present on the leukocyte surface to name few we have mannose receptors we have scavenger receptor then we can have macrophage integrins also and also the leukocyte can recognize the opsonized bacteria now what is opsonization opsonization means coating of the bacteria so that they can be easily phagocytosed by the bacteria the chemicals which caused opsonization they are called opsonins uh, to na name few opsonins c3b fc fragment of igg antibodies plasma lectins like mannose binding lectins fibrinogen crp these are few of the opsonization the first if you have seen that there will be recognition and the attachment to the leukocyte surface now second step is the engulfment so what will happen the um, it occurs after the particle is bound to the phagocyte receptor so we if we have a phagocyte and there is a receptor and the the, the antigen the dead uh, the dead particle the dead tissue or the bacteria which is to be engulfed is attached the first step is attachment now what will happen the leukocyte cytoplasm will form the pseudopodia so it will form the pseudopodia okay and uh, it will lead to the formation of a phagosome so here is the dead uh, here is the bacteria or the dead tissue now there will be formation of a phagosome okay so this is how the phagosome will be formed the plasma membrane here the plasma membrane it pinches off and it forms a vesicle this is a phagosome now the lysosome inside the cell it also fused with the phagosome so it will lead to the formation of a phagolysosome a phagolysosome it will fuse with the lysosomal granules and it result in the discharge of the lysosomal content and in the phagolysosome the second step is engulfment now third is the intracellular when it is inside the cell of the uh, neutrophil or any macrophage then there will be intracellular destruction of the microbe in the debris and how it occurs the mechanism first by the reactive oxygen species which is produced within the lysosome and the phagolysosome and the reaction is o2 in the presence of any dph oxidase convert into o2 minus now this is a superoxide radical now superoxide dismutase converts it into h2o2 then in presence of chloride and myeloperoxidase enzyme this is a very important enzyme it convert into hocl negative and this kills the micro this myeloperoxidase enzyme is very important we'll read it later the deficiency of it lead to uh, uh, this defect in the killing of the microbes now nitric oxide is another mechanism it's also known as edrf that is endothelium derived relaxing factor that it it relaxes the endothelial uh, the vascular smooth muscle how it is produced arginine in the presence of the enzyme nitric oxide synthase produces no and no causes relaxation of the vascular smooth muscle or causes vasodilation now what happens in the macrophage and no reacts with the superoxide radical o2 radical then it forms the ono that is peroxy nitrite this peroxy nitrite is a highly re reactive free radical and this damage this kills the micro then there could be lysosomal enzymes and other lysosomal proteins now neutrophils and monocyte it contains lysosomal granules that contribute to the microbial killings now neutrophil itself contain two types of granules like primary granule and secondary granule the primary granule contains myeloperoxidase lysozymes and defense in acid hydrolases neutral proteases etc then The secondary granule contains lysozymes, collagenase, gelatinase, lactoferrin, alkaline phosphatase, or histaminase. So these are the content they lead to destruction of the microbe. Now there are some defects in the leukocyte functions. There are some genetic defect to enumerate few. The defect in the leukocyte adhesion. The leukocyte adhesion defects one, two, and three. The defect in phagocytosis. This is Chidiak-Higashi syndrome, and there is a defect of microbial activity. This is chronic granulomatous disease or myeloperoxidase deficiency and neutrophil specific granule. deficiency we have read about myeloperoxidase earlier itself and i have told you how my myeloperoxidase and en enzyme is involved in creation of hocl negative and it leads to the killing of the micro so here we here we have discussed the phagocytosis which is which includes three processes one the recognition and attachment second the engulfment and the third is the intracellular killing of the microbes and debris so this is all about the phagocytosis uh thank you next class will continue fourth these uh, mediators of